Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all! Oh. Today is a day of celebration! Our Jarl is with us! Tonight... Basil, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you, as we say. You are a good... Where's Sigurd gone? Soon in, guide me. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. 
You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Ravensthorpe. Hello. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. What am I... I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. 
He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful! Petra, look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness. I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost... pleasant. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Eivor! Eivor! Come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor! I saw him nearby! Wallace? The White Elk! The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago! It was there! I saw it there! Are you certain? As sure as I see you now! He's back! Petra, where are you? Evil, I'm here. Get in here. Come. Petra, hello. Petra, hello. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. Uh -huh. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. We live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Here in Midgard! Return to your Denaima! Go now, or die here! What have you done with Petra? Open. Answer me! Eivor, stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Eivor, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrier further. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. 
Now come! I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, oh, look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here. Eivor, come on! I'm up here. Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? Come to me. I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Soonan. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra, hurry! Nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be buzzing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. <laughs> 